So let me be the first to say that anything can be improved. If you have ideas about how to improve this law by making care better or more affordable, I am eager to work with you. Health care was, of course, a major topic in last year's State of the Union. President Obama then trying to show he could work with Republicans to fix the controversial health care law. But one year later, how sincere was that effort? Let's ask Republican Congressman Michael Burgess, who tried to amend the law in one important way, but kind of got stopped in his tracks. Now, Congressman, you actually got in touch with the president and said, OK, I take it your word. I got a suggestion. What happened? Well, the president made a big deal over the fact that maybe there was some room for talking about uh, reform in the medical justice system, medical liability reform. And I, I took him at his word. I fired a letter off down to the White House, sent it by fax the very next day, followed up with a hard copy, uh, and I'm patiently waiting to get a response. That was about a year ago. Yeah, I was going to say, surprise. it's, it's a little <laughs> past time to peer back from him. Not a great surprise, because you recall in July of 2009, the president said, if any member of Congress is having trouble understanding my, my bill, I invite them down to the White House and we'll go through it line by line. I said, you bet, Mr. President, I'm there. Just tell me the day and the time. <laughs> And again, we're still waiting on that one as well. All right, but, let, but hold on a second, Congressman. Let me just sure. play for the audience that particular line that, that I think uh, made you stand up and cheer. Let's play the line. Still, I'm willing to look at other ideas to bring down costs, including one that Republicans suggested last year, medical malpractice reform to rein in frivolous lawsuits. Now, when you heard that line, is it not true that you actually stood up and cheered? Uh, on my feet immediately, and you remember last year we were all supposed to sit with a Democrat sort of thing, and yes. I pulled old Al Green up to his feet and said, give the man some applause, show him some love, he's, he's doing the right thing here. Um, but, uh, you know, alas, it was a talking point, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't an actual deliverable. And, and you know, the, here's the thing, we've, we've really hurt our, our patients and our physicians in this country in so many ways with this health care thing. But, one of the things we could have done was shown doctors we're willing to be their partners, we'll give you some liability relief, we'll fix these problems that beset you in Medicare fee schedules, and we'll let you, uh, we'll let you talk amongst yourselves if, if you're serious about bringing down the, the cost of delivering care and improving quality. Right now, doctors can't even talk to each other for fear they'll all be drawn into a big federal trade. A commission lawsuit and, yeah. and have to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars defending themselves. Well, and you think of all the ways in which the government has sued businesses in this country, uh, whether it's Boeing or whatever. I mean, they're, TransCanada had to spend $1.9 billion. AT&T had to spend $4 billion. I, I'm just wondering if this president doesn't want to take on the lawyer. I don't want to get too in the weeds here, but is that the problem, the fact that the president's a lawyer, he, he has difficulty taking on fellow lawyers? Well, it's, it's clear that's a, a constituency that generally is more sympathetic to the to the Democratic side of the aisle. But these are big these are big issues, and he talks about moving America forward and doing the right thing for the country. Uh, this is the time to show that you're that true postpartisan president, and and uh, let's get this stuff done. Yeah, but, but he offered, it's and you took him up on his offer, and he didn't do anything. What about payment advisory board? These these boards that are going to make decisions that some of us are afraid you know we're going to lose decisions that we like making ourselves. Well, of course, as a member of the legislative branch, I, I abhor that type of notion because you're taking the power and putting it into a group of 15 people appointed by the president, yeah. paid by the White House and accountable to no one, and they'll be making some pretty significant decisions on how health care dollars are spent. I'll say. Well, life and death decisions. But any, any movement there and all at, 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 at keeping those panels at bay? Well, there has to be, and I, actually that's one of those things that could have some bipartisan agreement. And in fact, now's the time to do it because it only gets more expensive every year that goes past if we don't, uh, if we don't take that on now. So maybe that's one of the things that we could get done in, even in this rather contentious election year. All right, and Congressman, we've got to wrap. But finally, are, are you going to, after your own experience of waiting a year for a response from a president who said he wanted your input, are you going to bother at all to, to, to try to give him more of your input? Oh, absolutely, but uh, I'll tell you what, I'll carbon copy Duke Gingrich on every letter that I send. <laughs> All right, you can carbon copy us as well. We'll, we'll, we'll print it. We'll let people know. Congressman Dr. Michael Burgess, good to see you. Thank you for being here. Good to see you.